Hi everyone, this is Chris here doing a um, little like overview for the Star Free Indiegogo. So far, we're, like we're the first day into it, and we're already kind of halfway towards the um, the meager five hundred dollar goal we set for it. Um, the reason why we set the five hundred dollar goal isn't really because that's what it really costs to do any of this stuff. It's just because that's kind of like the lowest goal which you can make. Um, the book is already finished, so it doesn't really matter if you, you know, um, like support the Indiegogo or not, because like I said, it's already a finished book. I just mail it out to you with extra rewards and stuff like that. So it's a great way to support the Star Free series in case you want to make more comic books or anything like that. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm the world's greatest comic book writer. I make video games and have like a cartoon that's on YouTube and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's all good stuff to check out. So this is going to be like a brief overview of the comic book series. Um, one of the biggest problems with doing like a book like Star Free is that people sort of like frown upon like female comic book characters. Characters like Wonder Woman and Black Window, or <coughs> Black Window, uh, Black Widow, are um, usually sort of like frowned upon and are not very good sellers. Not necessarily because of, well, obviously the writing characters, whatever. But usually there's sort of a stigmata when it comes to doing female comic book characters. Um, I've already done the Savage Swordsman and Black Strife and, you know, a whole bunch of other characters. So it sort of came to a time that eventually I would do a female protagonist book, and this is what you have here. So I don't expect it to do as well as the Savage Swordsman did on the, the previous crowdfund, but I expect it to do, you know, just a little bit below that, and that's probably what it's going to come out to. Here you can see the B cover for it, which is done with the, the line artwork before it's colored in. I kind of think the line artwork is a little bit better. This is like a personal taste because I'm into like anime and manga and stuff like that. But the one that will actually be on the book is sort of the uh, the colored variant. Scroll down here for a little bit. Here you can see some of the concept artwork as using the characters. You can see Lily, which is, I don't know if anyone's a fan of like Setsuna from like uh, like Soul Calibur or anything like that. You know how cool characters like Umbrellas can be. Mmm. Here you can see me sort of, you know, trying to make callbacks. Say, hey, you know, like the Savage Swordsman is good. You know, you might want to back this one because it is. You can see more, you know, artwork on Twitter. We also have a Reddit that has a bunch of good stuff on there. So, you know, both are good options if you want to see more than just what the video is showing. And again, they're just people are just not accurately, you know, showing our stuff. They're just not actually showing you how good our books and stuff actually are. But uh, here's sort of a rough layout page for Star Free Save the World. It was sort of going to be sort of like the follow-up, but I never actually made it. Instead, I made Star Force instead, which is um, one of the next books you'll see coming up here pretty quick. Um, it's almost finished. I've been uh, posting little teasers here and there on like the Twitter and Reddit and all that stuff. Basically, she bases like Floor's Godzilla, and it's pretty, pretty interesting for it. Um, you got stretch goals, which is for like the fifteen hundred dollars, which is um, it's about what it costs to make a comic book. I don't even make any profit off any of this stuff. Um, so literally, as soon as we get like fifteen hundred bucks, I'd basically then make Star Free versus the World, given that you would then go immediately fifteen hundred bucks back down for paying the artist and the printing and all that other stuff. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much how that would go. Um, you can see all the stretch works. You can see the actual um, colored variation of the cover right here, which again, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, if people are wondering, Bulma from Dragon Ball is sort of like where the, the idea for that stuff comes from. Um, rewards are explained. Come down here. You get to see more artwork from um, from inside the book. Let's see. And as always, you know, we do all the other stuff, and you can click here and you can see the other. Savage Swordsman campaign. Yeah, I mean, it's slow as shit right now. But uh yeah, so you can see that the you know the book's already made, it's already amazing, it's already great. The only real drip setback is the fact that some people might not like, you know, female characters or something like that. But uh yeah, no, so it's pretty much everything you would expect from like a tyrant comics book and honestly in my opinion it's one of the better ones given the fact that it has the uh, it's really good artwork like a lot of people sort of criticize the cover because um i'm not gonna lie like i didn't really put too much work into the cover it was mostly like the interior artwork pages and stuff like that the cover is more of an afterthought and our hair isn't even supposed to be blue it's supposed to be more like a platinum so there's all kinds of like i don't know sort of inconsistencies and stuff like that 
But yeah, there's literally no risk to backing the uh, the crowd fund at all. Because you're literally just getting books that have already been made out, already been successful, already published all these other books that are all, you know, pretty wildly received as, as positive for the most part. So yeah, so um, pretty much like, what are you waiting for? All these amazing comic books are there. Um, we got Twitter, we got Facebook, we got Reddit, we got all this kind of stuff going on. You go to tyrantcomics.com. Said. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channels and take care on all that, alright? Thanks. Thanks.